Hey, welcome back. Before we are going to build a robot handling this files in this folder, UiPath recently had a major update and we can find that this activity matches no longer exist in the UiPath system activities package. Instead, the new matches activity is find matching patterns. So let us go through this new matches activity, find matching pattern first. Before we are going to build this find matching patterns activity, let us compare the old one matches with this new activity, find matching patterns. We can find that they are more or less the same. Just in the find matching patterns, there's one new property. This one, first match. This property is going to place the first result that matches with the pattern we want into a variable. And the variable is in the type of string. So this is going to be more handy because we no longer need to place the uh, result that matches with the pattern we want into a collection and then extract the first element uh, from the collection. With that being said, I think this fine matching patterns uh, is much, much handy compared with this old um, matches activity. We can now start building this um, fine matching pattern activity. Okay, let us set up these three properties in find matching patterns activity first. The first one, pattern, it is identical as the pattern in matches activity. So here I will just put in digit plus and a dot here. Pattern options in find matching patterns activity, it is identical as the reject option in matches activity. So here I will just keep it as ignore case and compile. Text to search in. It is identical as the input uh, property in matches activity. So here I will put in current folder dot name dot replace, and I will replace all space with an empty string here. Now we have finished the setup of these three properties in the find matching pattern activity. We can move on to the output first match here. For the first match here, unlike matches activity, first match here is going to store the result that matches with the pattern we want in a string variable. In the matches activity, it is going to store it in the collection, but here it is going to store it in the string. So we have to create another variable in the type of string. So let us create a variable called variable matched uh, pattern. And it is going to be in the type of a string variable. And because we no longer uh, store the uh, result in the collection, so we can delete this variable matched collection. And now let us put in the variable matched pattern here. We have completed the setup of this find matching patterns activity. We are good to move on. In previous video, while well, we are going to generate the folder index of the new folder name, we have to put in the variable matched collection here, and then we have to extract the first element of this collection by putting in a zero here. Then, in order to convert it to a value, we have to put in a dot value here. This is pretty complicated. And because of the new activity, find matching patterns, we can simplify this process by simply putting in a string variable. In our case, it is the variable matched pattern that we have just declared. And now we have finished the setup of this uh, new assign activity in order to create a new folder name. Great. Guys, you can find it is much easier to extract strings that match with the pattern we want. Because of this new activity, find matching patterns. Previously, we have to use a collection to hold all the strings that match with the pattern we want. And now we only need to use the string variable to hold a uh, string that uh, match with the pattern we want and then we can do anything with it. Okay, uh, now let us uh, execute the robot and check out the result. Hmm. 
Okay, guys, you can see that the robot has successfully renamed these three folders. Uh, personally, I would say that this um, find matching patterns activity is much easier to play with compared with the matches activity in the previous um, version. Okay. So in the next video, we are going to um, build a function to rename all these files in this folder. So um, see you later.